Hey guys, how's it going? This is Lost in Heaven and today I'm going to tell you about 8 best universities of Germany where you should try to get in and their admission requirements. There is a link which I will put it down in the video description where you can check it out if your school leaving certificate or your bachelor's degree will make you eligible to do your studies in Germany. Now all the university which I'm going to talk about right now, they have different faculties such as for science, for commerce and for arts. Options would be available for you to study in any of these subjects. So all the university in this list are public research universities. That means as an international students, you do not need to pay a tuition fee. You just need to pay a small amount which can be 100 or 200 euros per semester as an administrative cost for the university. So at number one, we have LNU or University of Munich or also known as Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich. LNU Munich is ranked at number one in Germany and number 32 in world university ranking. It is one of the oldest university in the country and 13% of its total student body consists of international students. Unfortunately, all its bachelor courses are in German. However, if you're interested in its master's program, you need to provide language certificate which are not older than two years. GMAT, GRE or a personal interview might depend on which subject you would like to get your admission in. But it is highly recommended that you provide your results and it should be very good. The application deadlines are 15th of April for winter semester and 15th of November for summer semester. On a general scale, one out of 10 applications are accepted. The university is very competitive in engineering and medical courses. Technical University of Munich It was established in 19th century and is the only state university solely focused on science and technology. Its original focus was engineering, however with time it expanded towards social sciences, natural sciences, food and technology, agriculture and medicine. The university is ranked number 2 in Germany and 41 in the world. For students who would like to do their bachelor's in computer science, you are in luck because this university offered this course in English. For both bachelor's and master's, you will require to submit a minimum language certificate. There will be an aptitude assessment based on points through which you are either accepted straight away or you will have to go through a personal interview. In case you are applying for master's, you need to go through preliminary documentation which you need to submit to UniAssist. The UniAssist is an external agency which helps the universities all around Germany with application management and administrative purposes such as this. For certain degree courses which are highly competitive, you do need to provide either a GRE or a GATE certificate. Right after this university, we come to Heidelberg University or University of Heidelberg. It is ranked at number 3 in Germany and number 42 in the world ranking. Close to 20% of its student body are international and represent around 120 countries. The university particularly excels for its innovative research and intellectual contribution. Around 27 Nobel laureates are associated with this university, 9 out of which gained their Nobel prizes while working for this university. Now just like any other university, you need to submit a language certificate with these minimum requirements. In case you do not satisfy these minimum requirements, you can sit in a ESL courses through Heidelberg English language institution prior to starting classes in your degree program. The university though with high ranking do accept below average students. For some graduate programs, you do need a minimum grade, a minimum period of studies or a special focus in your undergraduate studies. GRE, GMAT and GATE are highly optional. However, it is recommended that you do provide it with your application in case you have it. At number 4, there is a medicine school which is also called as Charité Universitas Medicine Berlin. It is one of the largest university hospitals in Europe. It is ranked at 75 in the world ranking, however more than half of the German Nobel Prize winners in medicine and physiology have either worked or studied in this university. There are no bachelors available in English, however for masters you can either do it in international health, molecular medicine, medical neurosciences or epidemiology. You will need a language certificate with the minimum requirements, however there are no other requirements. Only your previous grades would be tested against others to get the admission in this university. National ranking number 5, we have University of Tübingen, world ranking of 78. It is renowned for its humanities, sciences and theology. The university is associated with 11 Nobel laureates, mainly in the field of medicine and chemistry. 
For bachelors, there are very limited subjects only in humanities which are available in English. However, for masters, you can either study for humanities, social or in business studies. You will need a minimum language certificate and a personal interview will be conducted for all the shortlisted candidates. Fees for non-EU students are a bit more. It's at 1500 per semester per student. Your bachelor degree grade need to be at least 2.5 according to the German grading system. GRE and GMAT are not required but you are free to send it if you must. Now for our next university we go to Berlin, Humboldt University of Berlin. World ranking at 80 and national ranking at 6. The university is divided into 9 different faculties including its medical school which is shared with the Free University of Berlin. It has in total 32,000 students and offer degree programs in some 189 disciplines from undergraduate to postgraduate level. As Germany is one of the most prestigious institution of higher education, Humboldt University has been conferred the title of University of Excellence in Germany. Admissions are accepted via UniAssist or directly via the university. For some of its master courses, there might be some restrictions. You will need a minimum language certificate and the degree which is awarded mostly are Masters of Science, Master of Law and Masters of Arts. At number 7 we have University of Freiburg, also known as Albert Ludwig University of Freiburg. It is a public research university situated in Baden-Württemberg in Germany with a long tradition of teaching social sciences, natural sciences, science and technology. It enjoys a high academic reputation both nationally and internationally. The current world ranking is at 83. The university offers around 116 bachelor's program and 128 master's program out of which 22 are offered in English. For the academic session from 2018 to 2019, 22% of its student body consisted of international students. Some of its bachelors which are available in English are in American studies or liberal arts and sciences. Its language requirements are quite high, more than average I would say. And you would need an average academic score of 2.5 according to the German grading system. At number 8 we have Aachen University. With world ranking of 107, it's a public research university located in Aachen, Germany. With 44,000 students enrolled in its 144 study programs, it is the largest technical university in Germany. With an acceptance rate of 10%, it is one of the most selective school in entire Europe and has a high focus on academic excellence. Therefore, it is very important that you have stellar academic grades in addition to whatever other criteria is required for your study program. There is a minimum language requirements which I would say is on average. Now as a bonus I would just throw in University of Bonn and Freie University of Berlin. University of Bonn ranks at 140 and Freie University of Berlin ranks at 118. So I would highly recommend you to go and check out these university, their website, the different courses which they are offering and try to get admission in one of them. Write in the comment section what are the other countries which you would love to go and study in. Just like always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Till then, good luck with your studies and good luck with your admissions.